Coach Roy Hallen back. Coach, good morning to you. Good morning. How you doing? Doing well. Let's get into some talk about this weekend. I know uh, this is an annual event now. It's an event that a lot of people look forward to there. And, you know, take me back a few years, how this event, you know, sort of came to fruition and how you guys were able to establish this Coaches versus Cancer event at Millville. Well, uh, unfortunately, like most uh, really good things, it, it came out of some uh, some bad things to, to get us going. Um, my assistant coach, Mike Edwards, uh, who came to me with the idea uh, shortly after he joined our staff 10 years ago, his mom passed away uh, of ovarian cancer. So, you know, he, uh, he struggled with that. And then um, a few years ago in 2009, my wife was diagnosed with breast cancer. And, you know, that, that's tough. You know, she was only 34 years old. We got two young kids. So we, we get through that, and, and she's a survivor. She's a fighter. Everything is great. And as soon as she got healthy, uh, then my dad came down with liver cancer, and he was gone within six weeks. And, you know, Mike watched me go through that, and that kind of brought up, uh, you know, a lot of things from his past. And, and he came to me at the end of uh, the 2011 season and said, you know, Roy, I basically have this done. I just, I just need you to say yes. And uh, he said, we got to do something. Enough's enough. He said, Let, let's do something. I said, absolutely, this is great. Uh, so it, it's been full steam ahead ever since. Fourth annual Millville Coaches versus Cancer Baseball Classic going on this weekend. Two full days of baseball. We'll get into the schedule in a little bit. But, Roy, I know you've been able to raise an impressive amount of money. Obviously, uh, any little bit helps. Talk a little bit about, if you can, some of the money raised, some of the numbers, and also some of the cool things you guys do out there. I know uh, the kids get a chance to wear some different colored armbands. We also do some ceremonial first pitches. Uh, So a lot of fun stuff, a lot of relevant stuff as the fight continues against cancer. Yeah, in the four years, we're uh, approximately around $25,000 raised. Uh, that, that doesn't necessarily include everything from this weekend because we just started. Uh, you know, a drop in the bucket, we understand, but, um, you know, every little bit counts. And, and we're also trying to, to raise awareness as well. You know, money is good, but awareness is great as well. Um, and, and try to, you know, have a forum uh, for people to come out. One of the things that's really cool is, you know, people just kind of come and, you know, they'll, they'll track us down and say, you know, I heard about this. I just had to come. You know, I, I just lost my mom or I just lost so-and-so. Uh, so it's almost like therapy for some people to come out and just be around uh, the American Cancer Society and, and for support. Uh, we do have some really cool things going on. We just got Bridgeton and Shallot kicked off to, uh, to start the tournament. And we do a uh, survivor memorial first pitch where uh, people uh, can throw out a first pitch in honor of somebody who is fighting the fight or has won the fight or unfortunately lost the fight. And it's always pretty emotional uh, to see people do that. You know, a lot of hugs and a lot of pictures being taken. Uh, You know, again, a little therapeutic for people to, you know, be around people who have gone through the same thing. We got all kinds of uh, auction items, some some, uh, cool sports stuff, uh, some Mike Trout signed things and uh, some hockey things. Um, and great food. So it's a great atmosphere. Uh, you know, everybody's here for one reason, uh, and that's to raise awareness. And uh, it's so far so good. The first game's kicked off, and the weather's going to be great. You look at the schedule of the event, the coaches versus cancer weekend at Millville High School, as Roy just mentioned, uh, bridged in on the field right now against Shalik. Roy, then your Thunderbolts take on Bishop Eustis at 11 o'clock today. Later, 1.30, it's Kingsway versus Glassboro. Then at 4 o'clock, you have Mainland versus Washington Township. Now tomorrow, 11 o'clock, Atlantic City versus Cherry Hill East. Big game at 1.30 as Gloucester Catholic takes on St. Augustine. And then another big one at 4 as Cherokee battles Holy Spirit. So, Roy, I know you get a lot of the same teams in this event year in, year out. And obviously some very attractive matchups and you know, does it does it take some convincing on your end to sort of get some of these premier teams playing other premier teams, or is everyone just really excited to take part? And hey, whatever matchups you want to throw at them, they'll take them. I tell you what, I, I can't say enough for the schools that come down. Um, they're all in for anything. I, you know, sometimes we we've asked some schools, you know, hey, this is going to be a tough matchup. What do you guys think about this? Uh, and their response is always the same: Hey, whatever's best for the tournament, it's going to be a great draw. You know, let's go, let's play. Um, you know, we kind of feel the same way too. We got Bishop Eustis coming in, uh, with, you know, in a couple hours, and that's going to be a real tough draw for us. But hopefully, it creates a great environment. And all the teams, we got teams that, that uh, have asked to be in, and they're kind of on a, a waiting list, if you want to call it that. And I think it because everybody's in the same boat. As soon as you bring this topic up, it becomes personal for everybody. You know, we started it for personal reasons on our end, 
but we're no different than anybody else. So as soon as these coaches and, and programs hear about it, it, you know, it sparks their own, uh, you know, personal stories and they become just as vested in what we're doing as us. And, you know, they're, they're here early, they're, they're doing everything they can. And uh, it's really nice to have that much support uh, and, you know, enthusiasm from all the other programs. Roy, is it a challenge at time in terms of uh, focusing on the baseball this weekend? I know you and your staff, you and your kids, very busy all weekend long, you know, helping out with the tournament, obviously, but then you have to focus on a game. Maybe it's a good problem to have, but has that become a challenge this weekend at all? The the X's and O's, if you will, on the field? Well, a little bit, but that's where uh, Mike Edwards is so uh, helpful for us. Uh, he, you know, he uh, has taken this program and run with it and taken so much off of, uh, you know, my plate so that we can kind of, you know, he can he can deal with the tournament issues as they're leading up while, while I'm dealing with some more, uh, you know, immediate uh, baseball issues. Um, you know, and obviously he's still really involved in baseball. So for the last few weeks and, and months, you know, his his head is spinning a little bit trying to put everything together, but he does such a great job, uh, you know, that we don't seem to have a, a conflict. We we take care of all of our business, and uh, that's great. That's due to a great staff and, and guys being best. Millville Coaches versus Cancer Baseball Classic happening this weekend at Millville High School. Of course, also obviously raising awareness for cancer, and also uh, you'll have a chance to sign up for the Relay for Life uh, of Cumberland County at the event this weekend. Uh, so, Roy, obviously a great event going on this weekend. I want to talk a little bit about you know your team so far this season. I know I spoke to you before the season started. A lot of younger kids, I know you were excited about the talent you had. And, you know, you have a few losses, obviously. You've played some some good competition. Where is this team at right now? How impressed are you with the performance of your team? And what do you guys need to improve on as you continue the season? Well, I'm real happy with where we're at. I mean, uh, you know, record-wise, we're, we're four and five, so we're we're struggling here and there, you know, for wins. But uh, we we ask certain things of of every team that we coach. You know, the the way to go about things and and how to do things, and we're right on track. Uh, I love this group of guys. They're working really hard. They're very talented kids. They're learning the game. They're, they're young, so there's going to be uh, some growing pains here and there. Uh, that's to be expected. But uh, you know, what I really like is. They may make mistakes, but they typically don't make the same mistake twice, and that's a sign of growth for me. Uh, you know, if you're making new mistakes every day and learning from them, then that, then you're going in the right direction. A lot of times the mark of a good team is how it bounces back after a tough loss. You go all the way back to opening day, and you're right there with the defending state champion mainland. It sort of comes down to the last out, and you guys end up on the losing side. But I think after that, you rattle off a couple wins. You know, a tough loss to St. Augustine maybe about a week and a half ago. You come back and, and win a game over arch rival Vineland. How impressed were you with your team's ability to sort of bounce back after that loss? Well, so far, so good. I, I do like that. Um, you know, they seem to, to have short memories and, and turn the page real quick. And, you know, in our game, that's important because, uh, you know, you, it's not like football. You can't prepare for a whole other week to, for your next one. Uh, you know, a lot of times your next one comes the very next day and you better be ready to go. So, so far they've done that, and uh, that's one of the things I'm really proud of. Eustis, obviously, today, Bishop Eustis, uh, for people that might not know, certainly considered one of the top teams in South Jersey. You know, in, in game planning, again, short turnaround, but in game planning for a team like Eustis, what do you have to be concerned about? Obviously, they do a lot of things well. Well, yeah, you need to play a, a clean game against them, a mistake-free game. You can't give them any, any extra chances. Um, you know, they're going to get uh, plenty of opportunities that they earn on their own, um, and if we can limit or eliminate the ones that we give them uh, for free, then uh, you know we'll be hopefully be right there at the end with a chance to win. Another, obviously, game that pops out on the weekend as a whole is this Gloucester Catholic St. Augustine game that we're going to get tomorrow at one thirty. How much buzz is there sort of out there about this game? The whole weekend, important. A lot of great games, but this one, you know, if you look at the schedule as a whole, maybe jumps out at you. Certainly, these teams have had some battles and you know, obviously you're sort of on the outside looking in. You organize it, so you're putting the two teams together. People have to be excited about that one as well. Well, uh, they played last year, and uh, the atmosphere was incredible. They, we had a ton of scouts here for to watch uh, Joey Gatto pitch. Uh, it was a beautiful day. It was There was not a place to stand to see the game or sit or whatever. It was it was packed. Um, and we're hoping to replicate that again this year. You know, you got two great programs, uh, well-coached. Uh, disciplined kids, talented kids. Um, so it, it should, and I enjoy, you know, by then, you know, uh, we will have played and, and we'll just be out watching. I'm going to do what everybody else does. I'm going to find a lawn chair. I'm going to pull up a seat 
and I'm going to watch a great baseball game. <laughs> there you go. Checking in right now with Roy Hallenbeck, head coach of the Millville baseball team. Again, coaches versus cancer tournament going on this weekend at Millville. Coach, before we let you go, we got to do a little Mike Trout talk here. I know it was a very cool event for maybe listeners that don't know about it. Uh, the footwear your guys are wearing this season. Talk a little bit about that, sort of the surprise to start the season, courtesy of uh, Mike Trout and Nike. Well, yeah, uh, I, it, was, it was a great surprise for our kids. Uh, I was told a little bit here and there, but, uh, you know, Jeff and, and Mike, they still like to, you know, keep some secrets and, and you know, do some nice things for us. So they, they just told me a little while ago, they said, hey, you know, don't, don't let your kids go out and spend a lot of money on shoes because I, I think it's going to be taken care of. And that's about all I got. You know, like, well, what does that mean? You know, but I, I try not to ask too many questions. You know, anything we get is great. Uh, well, what they ended up doing was customizing uh, the Mike Trout Vapors for our kids here at, at the high school for the JV and the, and the varsity, uh, basically all returning players. Uh, you can't duplicate them online. I've tried. You, even to the Nike ID builder, you, you can't make them. They're one of a kind. Uh, and our kids uh, were surprised with them. Uh, we gave them to them right before the start of the season, and uh, Mikey had sent a little note that we uh, photocopied and put in the box uh, to each one of the players. So, uh, he's still involved. You know, he's real busy. I mean, obviously, he's on much bigger and better things, but he's found a way to, you know, make sure that he gives back uh, to the kids here. You know, it's not about us or, or whatever. It's the kids. He, he knows what it meant to him coming through here, and he wants to help out the, the kids uh, following, hopefully, in his footsteps. And, Roy, I think you may have mentioned it earlier, but a signed pair of those cleats also available uh, for auction this weekend, too? Yes, we had, uh, you know, they, they included some things for us that would help us uh, uh, down the road. Nike's been really supportive. So we have uh, uh, two individual shoes signed by Mike that were given away at the silent auction, amongst other things. Uh, so there's some uh, customized trout vapors with a signature on them out there uh, just waiting to be won. What's the wow factor, you know, going back to that day when the kids are opening those shoes? I mean, it feels like Mike just played there, but you really look at it. It's been a few years now. It's a whole new group of kids in there that really didn't know Mike at all. And so, you know, that being said, it's sort of wow. You know, Mike Trout, you know, he, he did this for us. What is that wow factor on the look of those kids' faces when they open up those shoes? And it's from the American League MVP. Well, I, you know, I watch these big, strong athletes, you know, big, tough guys, and, and you know, they're, they're all, all those things. You know, I watch them turn into six-year-olds right in front of my face, you know, as they, they opened these boxes and looked at them. Uh, you know, I felt like I was home on Christmas with my own young children. Uh, you know, they, they, they were, you know, screaming and hollering and hooting and, and, you know, showing each other. And as soon as we got them out of the room, uh, they had them on their feet. They were running around. Uh, the, just any grass they could find outside the school. They're just running around uh, aimlessly, just, you know, laughing uh, and looking at them and everything. So uh, they turned into little kids real quick, and, and that made it, re- you know, worth it. We had a video. We, we took some pictures and shots of video, sent it to uh, Jeff and, and Mike, and uh, let them know that, uh, you know, their gift was very much appreciated. Roy, really appreciate the time over a number of uh, media platforms this week. Again, fourth annual Millville Coaches versus Cancer Baseball Classic. Go check it out if you're in the area this weekend. Again, already underway. Millville plays Bishop Eustis at 11. Two more games after that today. Three more games tomorrow, all raising money for a great cause. Roy Hallenbeck, head coach of the Millville baseball team. Enjoy the weekend, and thanks once again. Thanks so much. Hope to see everybody out here. All right, great stuff. Again, just a great weekend 